So coupling constants, so just a kind of a uh, quick, short overview on some important coupling constants, actual numbers and things and how they work, right? So coupling constants, of course, are hydrogens that are interacting, three bonds are interacting with each other, they can hear each other, the bells could hear each other. And they're important for one example that's really important is when you have a cis or trans alkene. So you have a cis alkene versus a trans alkene. The only way to tell if I label this HA, that HB, HA, and HB, in this case, in both cases, HA here, right, has one nearest neighbor, HB, and it would be a doublet worth one hydrogen. HA here would be a doublet worth one hydrogen. But they're not the same, because this H is cis to HB, and this H is trans to HB. So the only way to tell them apart is not by integration, it's not by the shielding or deshielding, it's not by how they're split, right? They're both big doublets. It's the distance between those peaks. It's the coupling constant. So if you're cis, what happens? It'd be a doublet, and your coupling constant would be 10 hertz. If you're trans, well, just for emphasis here, <laughs> your coupling constant is going to be bigger. It's going to be 15 hertz. So that's how you'd be able to tell these two things apart. A cis versus a trans alkene is by the coupling constant. Not by the shielding, not by how it's split, but by the distance it's split, the coupling constant. That's the way to tell this apart. Another type of coupling you'll see are these aromatic couplings. And these are interesting because they kind of break one of the rules. They can couple four bonds away. Four bond away coupling. Now that's because this benzene ring is flat and essentially because of that we can communicate from a farther difference. The bells can hear each other through this electronic network a little better. So let's take a look at HC. All right, so I've labeled these as three different types. Monosubstituted benzene ring. All right, HC is going to be able to hear HB and HA. Because this is an aromatic ring, you can hear both. Normally, HC would be able to hear B, two Bs, right? One, two, three, one, two, three. So to hear two of those, two plus one, HC would be a triplet. All right, so we'd expect HC to be a triplet. So that HC to HB, if it just heard HB. But HC can actually also hear HA. So what would A turn C into? It would also turn it into a triplet, right? If it goes one, two, three, four bonds away, one, two, three, four bonds away, if we consider four bonds away, there's still two A's, so two plus one would be a triplet. So what this looks like is going to be a triplet of triplets. So HC was turned into a triplet by HB, and that coupling constant, that distance, was like 8 hertz. HA is going to couple, is going to split HC, but in a much smaller way, like 3 hertz. So what it's going to look, it's going to look kind of messy now. So it's a triplet of triplets. So every single one of these peaks is going to turn into three peaks. Triplet of triplets. And the small, they're going to be a little bit smaller. One, two. It's like building a castle. All right? These smaller coupling constants, three hertz or maybe even less, that represents HB, HC hearing HA. And this bigger one, rep, that's like eight hertz, represents HC hearing HB. So three bond and four bond coupling is possible with these aromatic systems. So you just do that N plus one rule twice, essentially. All right, so let's try another one. Let's pretend you're HA in this case. What kind of splitting will HA have? So first thing we want to do is draw in all the other hydrogens. So we filled in the other hydrogens in this molecule. We've labeled them. So we have B. There's six Bs. There's two Cs and three Ds. So we're just looking at A. Who does A hear? Who are the nearest neighbors for A? 
A can hear who? Three bonds away. It can hear B, and it can hear C. But B and C are different, right? They're not the same. So what does C turn A into? So C is how many? N is equal to one, two, two. So N plus one, two plus one is three. So H, A, because of HC gets turned into a triplet, right? You see that? What happens to HA because of HB? How many neighbors does B represent? Six. Six plus one is seven. So that would be a heptet. So we would say HA, then at the end of the day, is a triplet of heptets, or a heptet of triplets, whatever you want to do. Usually do the smaller one first, but it doesn't matter. Do you see that, the non-equivalent? So these things are coupled to each other differently. Non-equivalent hydrogens coupling to each other. So the coupling constants, we have cis and trans. We have these aromatic four bonds away. And then we also have, when you have non-equivalent hydrogens coupled to right, one hydrogen that hears two different types of hydrogens, how is that splitting going to work?